Now that we understand the importance of the pivot, uh, I think we need to discuss exactly what do the arms do during the entire golf swing. Obviously, they must play a very important part since most of the power, you're going to understand, does come through the arms. Now, if we can imagine that your left arm and the golf shaft actually form the radius to the arc that the club head makes, the radius to that big circle, then we can understand that the left arm should be straight, you know, at least through most of the golf swing, uh, to maintain the, you know, the arc of the swing. Well, how do you keep the left arm straight? Do you use muscle in the shoulder, muscle in the forearm to keep it straight? See, is this a good thing? Well, if you do that, what you're doing is you're inducing a lot of muscle tension in your left shoulder area and the left forearm, which would be all right through the backstroke. But then if you came through the golf swing this way, without folding your left arm, you're going to hit a lot of block shots out to the right. Now, if I show you a very simple function of the left arm and come up with a word called inert, I-N-E-R-T, which just simply means lifeless, without life. Well, let's just imagine that your left arm is a piece of rope. It's just merely hanging down from your shoulder. It can't move itself. You see, it's just hanging here, totally lifeless. Now, on the end of that rope, there's a clamp that is attached to the handle of a golf club, right? In your initial set position, your three-point set, the arm is just hanging like a piece of rope. Your right forearm starts the back motion by bending the right wrist. You see that motion right there? This is the swinging procedure, but you can see how all it did was that. Now, as the right hip pulled behind you, you can see here how that left arm is on the stance line, right here. The end of the golf club is pointing at the line the ball is on, and it looks like that. Now, as you further cock the right arm up, the hip goes back farther, you can see that the right arm is keeping the left arm extended just a bit. As we start the downswing, the right arm still pushing out, keeping the rope stretched to this point, and now when you fire the right arm down the line, again you can see how the rope is being stretched by the right arm, and now the left arm will fold as it should for the finish. If there's any resistance at all to the left arm folding through here, your club face will stay open. You'll hit a lot of golf shots high and off to the right. And I, that's very unfortunate, but that is what happens. Now, how would you like to know? There's a very simple way to teach yourself how to do that without a golf club and without the rope. <laughs> yeah, really, there really is. If you merely take your left hand and fold it in the manner of a fist, don't squeeze it, just hold it, and let your arm hang down. Take your right hand, put it above the fist with your right wrist bent back. And now merely push the arm down just a bit. Rotate the wrist as I've already explained. Now you can see here my right arm is really holding the rope up, you see. It's just a relaxed piece of rope that's being extended by the right arm. When the downswing starts, we pull down. And now you can see as the right arm extends through the ball how that rope is stretched out in front of you. At this point, you just fold the elbow up, and there you are at a perfect finish. Uh, we've often heard some great players of the past, like Tommy Armour, saying, hold on with the left and knock hell out of it with the right. Well, he was right. However, there may have been something lacking in his description because he didn't tell you how to do that. Well, I'm telling you how to do that. There's nothing easier than that. There is no tension on it necessarily, so it is really extended without tension. We want to eliminate all the tension in your left shoulder area. And that is a description of what we call extensive action in the golfing machine. And if you start applying it, it will shorten up your swing where it needs to be. You'll have a lot more power through impact and less likely to break down. That's extension action, and that takes care of the left arm. I'll be right back to talk about what the right arm does. Right, now to further demonstrate this simple little procedure, which is going to make you a tremendous golfer, just close your hand in the form of a fist. Don't squeeze it. Just remember, it's just a piece of rope. Get your right hand in the right wrist bent back condition. Place it above your wrist. 
Get your three points set. Push the arm down just a bit, just a bit to keep it stretched. Stretch the rope down. Now, start your back swing. Right here, right hip. The right hip goes back. The right arm pulls the left arm straight up. And if I let go, you can see how it would fall. Right now, pull the right arm down into the side. Rotate your left hip out of the way and straighten your right arm out through impact. Let your head and eyes follow the ball. And that will be absolutely a perfect finish. Now that we've explained the, the left arm condition and how it's involved in the golf swing, what does it actually do? The answer to that is nothing. It really doesn't do anything except hold on to the golf club. And when I say hold, I mean hold. You do not squeeze it. If you use a great deal of pressure in your left arm, the forearm muscle will tighten up and the arm will not fold as it should, you see, when we reach that condition. All right, now, as far as the right arm is concerned, it's probably the least, the least understood uh, motion of the golf swing. Uh, technically, uh, the right arm, as we know now, controls the left arm. The, all the right arm does is get in a position to throw a ball, a position to throw a ball, uh, a fanning motion, and a cocking motion of the right arm. Fan it and cock it. Cock it meaning simply straighten it up. Now the most important thing to understand about this motion is what your right hand does initially. The right hand only bends backward. The right hand only bends backward. That is all it does. And in that motion your right forearm goes with it until it is actually what we call parallel to the line the ball is on. Right there. Now, from there you merely cock your right arm up. At this point, the right arm is touching your side, if you can see here, right there. Now, we merely go up the line to, as far as it'll go, and it'll generally stop right in this area, right about shoulder high, above shoulder high. Now, the right, both forearms, uh, particularly the right forearm, merely pulls the club straight down, reconnecting where it was. That's the first thing that's got to be accomplished. As long as the hands are above shoulder, this must be the first motion. If you pull your hips from here, the, your right shoulder will go out. You will immediately throw the ball off the line. You will have to be coming outside in at that rate. The first thing to do is to connect. Now, what will happen is your left hip will respond to this motion by starting to move out of the way. At this point, the right hand and the right arm hit out at the ball, hit out at the ball. It's extremely important to understand this simple little motion. And from that motion down, a straight right arm, as long as it'll go down the line. Let your head and eyes follow the ball. Drive the right forearm to a long right arm, a long right arm. Stretch it out. You'll get the feeling the club is trying to pull you. Drive that right arm straight down that line, and the club it will continue to come up, and now you merely fold your hands and wrists and follow the ball. I know you've read... If you're right-handed, it's supposed to be a left-sided game for right-handed people. That's, that's really a little ridiculous. If your car ran out of gas and you were pushing up a hill, would you pull, push with your left or your right? Let's learn to use that right. Most people are not getting near the distance they could get simply because they do not understand the right arm is always driving. The right arm is always driving down the line. It's so important to understand that. And if I showed it to you this way, notice how the toe of the club is up. I drive the right arm out at the ball to that long right arm condition. And if you can do that, my friends, you're going to be one super long hitter. Thank you very much.